Good day everyone. Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. This time, we will be representing exponential functions through its graph, its equation, and its table of values. Let's do this. Say for example, f of x is equal to 1 half raised to x. Okay. This one is an equation. This one is table of values and we will be graphing it later. So how are we going to solve for y? Remember that this one is the x, meaning the independent variable. You can just assign any values for x. And y is the dependent variable, meaning you need to solve for y after assigning values for x. Let's do 0. So, this one is y is equal to 1 half raised to 0. That will be equal to 1. Remember that any base other than 0 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, that is 1. Next, what about if we replace x by 1? Of course, 1 half raised to 1 is equal to 1 half. What about if it is 2? So, 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. That's why it's 1 fourth. Next, what about if x is equal to negative 1? If this one is negative, one of the loss of exponents states that you need to get the reciprocal of the base. This one is the base, so that is 2. The reciprocal of 1 half is 2. And then make the exponent positive. So this one is equal to 2. That's why it's 2. Now, what about if negative 2? Again, you get the reciprocal. It's 2. And then make the exponent positive. So it's 2 squared. That will be 4. So that's why it's 4. You are now ready to plot these points on the rectangular coordinate system. This one is the rectangular coordinate system. So let's plot this point. 0, 1. This one is 0, 1. 1, 1 half. That is 1. And then 1 half. This one is 1 half. And then 2, 1 fourth. This is 2. And then 1 fourth. Negative 1, 2. This one is negative 1. And this one is 2. So it's negative 1, 2. And we have negative 2, 4, negative 2, and then 4. This one is 4. Okay. So this one is the graph. Let's connect the dots, the points. Okay. So this one is y is equal to 1 half raised to x. Okay. Let's go to number 2. Here in number 2, your base is 2 and still your exponent is x. So that will be y is equal to 2 raised to x. So replacing x by 0, that will be equal to 1 again. Replacing x by 1, that will be equal to 2. Replacing x by 2, that will be equal to 4. Replacing x by negative 1, again, you get the reciprocal of 2, that will be 1 half, and make it positive. So that is 1 half. That will be 1 half. And finally, negative 2. It's negative 2. You get the reciprocal of 2, that's 1 half. Make it positive, so that will be 1 fourth. Positive 1 fourth. Okay, so you are now ready to plot these points on the rectangular coordinate system. Let's do it. That is 0, 1 again. This one is 0, 1. 1, 2. This one is 1, 2. 2, 4. This is 2, 4. And then negative 1, 1 half. Okay, and negative 2, 1, 4. So this one is the graph of the function. Okay. So this one is y is equal to 2 raised to x. Take note that if your base is if your base is 
greater than 1, your graph is an increasing function. Or the function itself is increasing. Why? As you can see, as x increases, y also increases. Here, if your base is, if your base is less than 1 but greater than 0, meaning to say it is a fraction, this one is a decreasing function. Why? It's because as x increases, y decreases. Okay? Take note of that. This one is an increasing function. Your base is greater than 1. This one is a decreasing function. Your base is a fraction that is less than 1 but greater than 0. So meaning it's between 0 and 1. Example number 3. What about if we have here negative 2 raised to x? This means that you need to get first or evaluate first the value of 2 raised to x before you multiply it by negative. So... This is y is equal to negative 2 raised to x. If x is 0, so this is 2 raised to 0, that is 1. And you multiply it by the negative, so it's negative 1. Okay. Next, if x is 1, that will be equal to negative 2. If x is 2... That will be equal to negative 4. Okay? So, if x is negative 1, again, you need to get the reciprocal of negative 2. So, that will be negative 1 half. And then make it positive. Okay. So, that will be negative 1 half. Okay, next, if it is negative 2, that will be, you get the reciprocal of this, that's 1 half, and make it positive again, that will be 1 fourth negative. It's negative 1 fourth. Let us plot these points now. So, on the same rectangular coordinate system, we have 0, negative 1. We have 1, negative 1. 2. Where is 1? Negative 2. We have 2, negative 4. 2, negative 4. And then we have negative 1, negative 1 half. This one. And then negative 2, negative 1, 4. This one. Okay, as you can see, this is the graph of y is equal to negative 2 raised to x. As you can see, these two are reflections. So this one is just a reflection of y equals negative 2 raised to x and vice versa. So if there is a negative here, it just graph. The reflection of this if this one is positive. Now, if it is a fraction base, again, this one is also a reflection of this but to this side. Okay? Next, what about number 4? If we have negative 1 half raised to x, most probably without calculating it, but let's calculate it. So, this is negative... 1 half raised to 0 is still 1. But there is negative there. That's why it's negative. So negative 1 half raised to 1, it's 1 half negative. And then 2, that will be a negative 1 fourth. If it is negative 1, that will be, you get the reciprocal. What's the reciprocal? It's 2 and make it negative. It's negative 2. And then squared again, you get the reciprocal. 
So that will be four. Okay, so it's negative four. Again, we know that this one is a reflection of this. Let's see whether we are correct or not. So let's plot these points. So you have zero, negative one. We have one, negative one half. One, negative one half. Okay, this one. You have two, negative one fourth. This one. We have negative one, two this one and negative two four this one okay so this is again a reflection of that so that is y equals negative one half raised to x okay example number five suppose we have the function c of x is equal to two raised to x plus one how are we going to solve for y? Again, you replace x by 0. That will be 1 plus 1. It's 2. Replace x by 1. That will be 2 plus 1. It's 3. Replace x by 2. That will be 4 plus 1. 5. Replace x by negative 1. That will be 1 half plus 1. It's 1 and 1 half. And then replace x negative 2. By negative 2, that will be 1 fourth plus 1. It's 1 and 1 fourth. Let us now graph this function. So, this one is negative 2 raised to x. So, we have 0, 2. Where is 0, 2? Here's 0, 2. That will be 1, 3, 1, 3. Here is 1, 3. And then 2, 5. This is 2. And this is 5. And then negative 1, 1 half. 1 and 1 half. So this is 1 and 1 half. And then negative 2, 1 and 1, 4. Okay. So this one is the graph. Okay. So this is y equals... 2 raised to x plus 1. Okay. So we can therefore conclude that if there is plus 1 in there, you will just shift your base function where? 1 unit upward. So it depends upon the number here. If this one is plus 2, you have to move the base function 2 units. But if this one is negative or minus, you have to shift your main graph or base graph according to the units, but of course, going down this time. If this one is minus 2, 2 units down. If this is minus 3, 3 units down. If it is plus 5, that will be 5 units up. You have to... Consider always the base function, and the base function is 2 raised to x. That's it.